Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delegate control in Active Directory. Let's say you are working for a company as a system engineer and you've been asked to actually assign some users the um, role to actually create new users and manage and manage those users in Active Directory. These users shouldn't have any other option or shouldn't have any other control in your Active Directory, like for example, changing, changing admin, password, or creating organization unit. So I have created an, a security group called the IT Help Desk. So let's say I have like two or three users who are members of the Help Desk. So I just added um, members. I added Thomas Johnson. Let me just add a new user to this. Let me just add um, Nora Johnson as well to this group. So the best part is actually to create a security group, not to actually delegate um, a control to a single user. So it's more easy when you want to add more users, so you want to assign more users that same access. So you just add that user to the security group and automatically the user will have access to, uh, to be able to create new users account. So I'm going to make sure that the users only the user only have the access to actually create new users new users account in this organization unit called users. So right click on this users account and click delegate control. Here I'm going to click next. So here we're being requested actually to actually select a users or groups. So for best practice it's best you actually select use a security group instead of using just one user. So select add, and I'm going to select the IT help desk group we created, which is the IT help desk group, and click next. So what do we want this user to actually do? So I want this user to be able to create, delete, and manage users' accounts. They should be able to reset users' password and force password change at next logon. And they should be able to read all users' information. So right now, the user will not have the option to actually create, delete, or manage groups, modify the membership of a group. So they will not have the option to actually do all the other, like create, delete, and manage um, the inet org person's account. So we can as well, if you want to create a custom task, we can as well just click on the create a, test, a, a custom task to delegate and click next. So you can see only the, the, the following, the folder, existing object in this folder, or we can just say only the folder account object. But for right now, I just want the user to be able to read, to create new users' account, reset users' password, and read all users' information. So what we need to do is to click Next. And here we click Finish. And right now, um, Thomas Johnson and Nora Johnson, who are members of the IT Help Desk, will be able to actually create a new users account. So let me switch to actually to um, a, a computer and show you how I uh, show you that Thomas or uh, Nora Johnson will be able to actually create a new users account. So right now I have actually switched to um, a Windows 10 computer. So let me just show you that this is a Windows 10 computer. If I go to system here and um, here you can see um, this is actually a Windows 10 computer. It's a Windows 10 Professional. The version is 1909. And the user which is logged onto this computer is Nora Johnson. So if I go to my domain controller, you can remember that I assigned Nora Johnson the task to be able to create new user's account. So if so, right now I have installed the um, remote tools for Active Directory on this uh, Windows 10 computer. So here you can find go to start menu and um, I scroll down to administrative tools. Here you can see the remote tools has been installed. So here I have the active, let me just open active directory. And if I open active directory and we go to the users account, which is under Belgium and users. So let's try something. Let me go to admin users because I only ask, I only grant and delegate um, control to users for Nora. So if I go to admin users, and Nora, maybe just try to create a new user's account here, you see. She don't even have the option to actually create a new user's account. So if I click, double click on that, she can actually view the info here, but she cannot modify anything there. So if I go to users here, the same thing will also happen. She doesn't have the option to actually create a new user's account. But if I go to users under the, general, the GN users, 
and I right click here, you can see you know, I have the option to only create users account, not even group. But if I go to my domain controller, I'm logged on here as Kelvin Johnson, who is a domain administrator. Let me just try to click. Um, let me just system is a little bit slow. Okay, let me create. You see, I have the option to actually create um, group, create security group, create share folder. But if I go to my Windows 10 computer, Nora only have the option to create new user. Here you can see she can only create new users account. So let's just create a test user account for this test one. Let me just call this. The last name is going to be test. Let me call this test. Here you can see Nora can as well assign a password for the user because I've already granted Nora to actually users must to actually check the users must change password at next logon. I click yes and finish. Here you can see Nora can as well create a test a new users account. So if I go to my domain controller here on our users and I refresh here you can see the test account with Nora create has been populated as well in my domain controller so that is how easy it is actually to actually delegate control to a user but mind you it is best practice to actually delegate the control to a security group not a particular user's account so because if you have more users who actually need that same access you just need to um just include them in that security group and they will be able to actually carry out the task which they should be able to perform Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like my YouTube channel and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this YouTube channel. And please subscribe to my YouTube um, video or my YouTube channel for more IT-related video because I do create uh, some um, video which, of course, if you're an IT guy or you're working in the IT field or you just, just, just have, want to have some general knowledge about IT, I think my video can be of great help to you. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.